Is this the coolest Bluetooth speaker you've seen? This is the Gravistar Mars Pro. Yo, what's up guys? It's me. As a quick disclaimer, Gravistar is sponsoring this video, but they aren't telling me what to say at all. Let's see if this speaker is just for the looks or if it looks and sounds good. Let's get straight into unboxing it. First things first, you got this really cool box and it kind of just looks like a care package and it's like the silver color. It's pretty cool. Right on the side here, it starts to state some of the specs such as Bluetooth 5.0, RGB lights, true wireless stereo, and a bunch of other things. Awesome. <laughs> so right away you get the little speaker right on top. Okay. First impressions of me holding it in my hand. The build quality on this thing is amazing. It has some nice weight to it. So if an intruder ever comes in your house, like this orange cat here, you can just bunk him right on the head with it. Like listen to it sit on the table. Yeah, there's some weight to it. And it has these little legs and they can swivel. So you can kind of make it stand up a little bit more. Oh yeah, that looks so cool. Also in the box, you get this pamphlet, which is basically just a quick start guide and just shows you how to set it up. And then you get two wires. One of them is a USB type C to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And then the last one is a USB A to USB type C charging cable. And the charging port for the speaker is right on the bottom of it, kind of right in its butt. Let's go over all of the tech specs of the Gravistar Mars Pro. I feel like I have to get the price right out of the way and this speaker is coming in at 229 USD. They have a ton of colors to choose from, but my favorite are black and white and those are also the cheapest. The others are special editions and they do cost a bit more. It is linked down below though, so be sure to use the discount code SUMMER to save 20% off your order. First off, the name is almost as cool as the design. It actually looks like it would be a speaker for Mars and who wouldn't want that? As I said in the unboxing, the build quality is really nice. That is because the whole body is made out of zinc alloy, so it has a really nice feel and weight to it. As far as weight is concerned, it's around five and a half pounds. They are stating audiophile acoustics with full range dual speakers and a true wireless stereo that allows you to pair two separate mars pro speakers together battery life is rated for 15 hours and it is super nice to see that it is usb type c charging when you plug it in the little battery light on the side of the speaker it just pulses until it is fully charged for my testing it took more than one and a half hours i left to do something and lost track <laughs> On top of this speaker, you get three buttons. One is a Bluetooth pairing button. The other is a power button with a play and pause button. I wish it had the little feature where you can double tap for next song and triple tap for previous song, but oh well. And it also has an RGB button. Powering it on, you get this really cool welcoming sound, which sounds like a vault door opening up. Ready to pair. Pairing it up is super simple and smooth. Just look for Gravistar Mars Pro and bam, it's connected. Bluetooth connected. You also get another cool sound when you turn it off. The sound that this thing puts out is top notch, but first, the RGB. It starts with this really cool blue color and then cycles between different options and if you don't like the lights you can hold down the RGB button and it will turn them off. If you're anything like me though you love listening to music. For me I love bass. I want that body shaking type stuff. Obviously this is a little speaker and not a full on system but regardless it has amazing sound output. On top of the speaker it has this really cool touch volume pad which is nice to adjust the volume on the fly without having to touch your phone. We are comparing it to the JBL Charge 4, which has been my daily Bluetooth speaker for a while now. First up is the Mars Pro. Enjoy the music test and smash a like while you're at it. I seen the way before it ever happened, he gave me the view. 
you. I had to put in my time on the TV and coming in soon. I couldn't leave it all up to a variant or an experience. You gotta get up and do what it do. So I'm okay, the homie is you. Always gonna wait until you in the mood. What do you think of the sound compared to the JBL speaker? From my testing, the JBL speaker sounds a bit louder, but they both sound really similar, which is an A+. I think the speaker is really cool. Like, the design team, give yourself a pat on the back. This thing turned out awesome. That being said though, it isn't very convenient. Yes, the design is really cool. Literally looks like a robot, but I'd rather carry a more conventional speaker around. Something that's a bit easier to carry. This thing will definitely be living on my desk and in my home, but for on the go listening, it'll be staying at home holding down the fort. Drop your thoughts on the speaker down below and also don't forget to leave a hashtag QOTD for the next video. Be sure to check out the Gravistar Mars Pro down below and use the discount code SUMMER to save some sweet green. Smash a like if you enjoyed this video and then watch this video next to help me get one of my first videos to a million views. Also, sub, road to 20k.